It's taken a while, but I've finally come to a conclusion about all of those motion-sensing automated features in uh, restrooms these days. They're fantastic. When they work. And when they don't work, which, let's face it, is like 90% of the time, they are still being successful and productive pieces of equipment. Successful and productive at making you feel completely retarded. It's a motion sensor. It's what professional engineers like to call idiot proof, because uh, any idiot should be able to wave their hands in the air, right? So I'm washing my hands at work. I had to turn the faucet on manually. My office isn't that advanced yet. We were, after all, uh, one of the drastically few to actually adopt Windows Vista as soon as it came out. And I stick my hand under the newfangled automatic soap dispenser and am rewarded with absolutely nothing. I am standing at the sink, the water running, my hand underneath the automatic soap dispenser, and nothing is happening. Well, that's not actually entirely true. I was getting a little flushed around my ears uh, from embarrassment. Obviously, I was doing something wrong, so I pull my hand out from underneath the dispenser and then stick it back in, you know, to try again. Nothing happens. Well, now I'm getting a little embarrassed that I'm getting embarrassed that I can't get the uh, motion-sensing automatic soap dispenser to work. I mean, I am alone in the restroom right now. No one, as of yet, knows how utterly incapable I am at using this automatic soap dispenser. I shouldn't be embarrassed by this. But that damn motion-sensing automatic soap dispenser just sits on the wall, mocking me with this stupid little cartoony graphic with a pair of hands sticking out, getting filled up with gloriously sudsy soap. Idiot proof. This automatic soap dispenser was making me feel stupider than an idiot. Being unable to use a motion-sensing automatic soap dispenser made me feel like a moronic numbskull that would have been better suited at banging rocks together than working on high-tech computers all day. Clearly, I must have been doing the whole hand motion thing all wrong. See, I was going straight in when I think it probably needs to be more of a swooping motion. And that cartoony graphic did show both hands cupped, so that clearly must be the secret to this idiot-proof motion-sensing automatic soap dispenser. I centered myself in front of the soap dispenser. I held my hands out in front of me. I cupped them as to receive the bounty of foamy soap that I was sure to receive. And then I swoop them in, twisting them just so, uh, underneath the idiot-proof motion-sensing automatic soap dispenser. And then... Nothing happened. At which point I gave up entirely. I clearly was inferior to this wonder of the modern age, this idiot-proof motion-sensing automatic soap dispenser. I was embarrassed, I, I won't lie. If there had been other people in the restroom with me, they would have been pointing and laughing at me because I could not get the idiot-proof motion-sensing automatic soap dispenser to work. They would be laughing and jeering at me, mocking me relentlessly, just like that little cartoony graphic did. But I did not hang my head in shame as I left the restroom that day. Nor did I leave the restroom without properly washing my hands with hot soap and water. See, the idiot-proof motion-sensing automatic soap dispenser did finally relinquish its foamy contents. Uh, it, it did have to be coerced, though, by being smashed across the restroom sink.
But hey, now we have one of those nifty little liquid soaps with the pump action nozzle. I'll be washing my hands and I'll reach out, hold, holding one hand underneath and then with the other hand, give it a few good pumps. And then... Nothing happens.